Hey everybody, Jack Loves Painting here with another tutorial. Gonna be doing an airbrush quickie today on Throg the Troll King's cape. I'm gonna start off with some heavy green and just base out that entire cape by hand. I was looking at our color wheel to see what would go with the blue and red fire and ice skin. And I saw there was a choice between green and yellow. Both of those are in our uh, complementary and contrast colors there on the color wheel. So I figured why not both? And we'll just do a really cool color shift cape. Maybe he took a banner from some Sylvaneth and turned it into a cape or something like that. We got some magical green cloth. So after I get that cape base coated in by hand, I'm gonna pull out some Necrotite green, get that in the airbrush with some flow improver. And then I've got this little piece of cardstock. This is actually the little backing to a sticky note pad. And I'm just going to work that underneath the cape to cover up those holes so that way I can airbrush on it without worrying about the paint going through those little holes in the cape and getting on the back of our legs and his butt area. So that way we're masking off the important parts that we don't want to airbrush on so that we can freely airbrush on the cape without using any masking tape or anything like that. Again, you can use sticky notes, you can use uh, business cards, card stock, you can even use your thumbs or fingers in some aspects to mask off different areas. I've also seen people use sticky tack or blue tack depending on what they call it in your region and that seems to work pretty well. Also you just have to be careful to make sure to get all that sticky tack off of the model when you're done. Alright now I'm going to pull out some golden yellow from our Pro Acryl line. This is a really bright yellow you can use sun yellow or maybe moon yellow from Vallejo if you have those paints or flash gets yellow if you have that from Citadel. It's basically the same color. Again, I'm going to pull out our little piece of cardstock and work that underneath the cape. And this is where we're going to bring in our color shift because I want to take this from our forest green to our in-between color, which is our yellow green necrotite. And then I'm going to pull out some of this pure yellow and spray that over the bottom portion of the cape, fade it up just a little bit onto some of the bigger folds so that that gradient and nice and smooth and you gotta remember when you're spraying yellow paint yellow is typically pretty transparent by itself transparent translucent however you want to call it but it's going to take a little bit to build up so don't try to force that yellow paint build it up in thin coats do a little bit of spraying let it dry out use the air from your airbrush to help it dry out and then put on a little bit more if you try to force that paint to build up faster than it wants you're going to get an excess of moisture and it's going to be really wet on the model and if you keep pushing air over that it's actually going to push that wet paint around and cause it to spider web and you definitely don't want that all right so we got our yellow on there it's not as bright as i want it and because we're going to go to a brighter shade of paint uh it's starting to reflect quite a bit on camera so i've turned off one of our desk lights so it's a little bit darker and it's not going to reflect as much so you can see that paint build up and all I've done here is mix in a couple of drops of our bright ivory into that yellow to kind of pastel it out a little bit. And I'm going to use a small little bit of highlighting on the yellow just to pop it out a tiny bit more. Remember when you're doing a double sided cape like this, you got to remember to hit both sides with each step. So you can see after I did the back, I pulled that little piece of cardstock out and hit the inside where it was safe making sure not to get any overspray on our skin tones. And there it is. It's a super bright, vibrant green yellow cape. We got a really cool magical color shift. I like doing fun stuff like that with fantasy because there is magic in that world and pretty much there are no rules when it comes to doing all those fun color because of the magic. Hope you guys enjoyed this airbrush quickie. Make sure to catch us next time.